Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls Biscuit, yes. <laughs> I genuinely thought we would be watching the final today. She's got a B-Tech. But I've just sort of gently, very gently had a look through the episode because I was like, there's another episode after this one and we can't have two recap episodes in the same season. Oh, wow. scandalous. So this today is, I guess, the semi-final. Serve it up, bitch. Even though I have dressed. For a finale, Mr. Biscuits was meant to go to the vets today. Nothing's wrong with him, but it was a checkup, and unfortunately, the vets have been messing me about, and they cancelled, didn't they, Biscuits? So we got you all ready, and they were like, no. Poor little thing, got all excited for no reason. So, my loves, what a season this has been. I don't think I've had such a roller coaster of emotions from episode to episode throughout something we've watched. Well, actually, that's a lie. We have watched The Swan, and we also have watched Bridal Plasty. <laughs> so there we go. Last time, we saw Anne be graciously or disgracefully evicted from the Big Brother house. <laughs> from this show in Japan, my lovelies. Which was, in fact, somewhat controversial, some might say. I didn't think she did as bad as the judging was kind of leading us to believe. But of course, they do have a reality TV storyline to go forwards. Do you know what? If you were in this situation and you could see production, like, basically gunning for you to go, I think I would probably feel a little bit like Anne there. At one point, she did seem a bit defeated. And it's like, if someone really wants something to happen to you in, like, a storyline context and there's nothing you can do to stop it and you know it's going to happen, I think it would take a lot, especially at, like, what, 20, 21 years old, to not let that affect you. So, yes, my roller coaster of emotion was, I don't like you, I like you, I don't like you, I like you. Oh, that was a bit wrong. You shouldn't have said that. Oh dear, but that was overall a bad experience, wasn't it? Yes! Are you doing gymnastics, Mr. Biscuits? Are you doing gymnastics? I don't know why. Like, you can't, you don't have to sit like this. You could just sit up, but you want to sit like this, don't you? You are so pretty. Customer announcement, I gloop in aisle four. Also, my lovelies, I don't know if you can tell, but I have a twinkling galaxy across from me here. And why is that? Because I want to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Galaxy Lamps. Have you ever wanted a personal night sky in your own room? Let's dive into the Galaxy Projector and see what it's all about. If you've been thinking about adding something a little bit special to the space that you exist in, then this is exactly the kind of lighting that you need. It transforms any room into a planetarium and gives it a truly unique look and feel. But not only that, it's a smart device. Its features include RGB colors, brightness, rotation speed, and on-off timers, all of which are more than fully customizable. Grab the app on your phone and you can change everything, making it truly yours. And if you love using Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant, the Galaxy Projector is on your team. Just say the word and she obeys. From switching on to changing modes, complete hands-free magic. The Galaxy Lamp is also incredibly energy efficient too, so you can enjoy your personal galaxy without worrying about the energy bills skyrocketing, my lovelies, especially during the Cosy Livy. And for those of us who appreciate good tech, this is for you. The Galaxy Projector is a modern gadget with timeless appeal and also a sensible size. Get your projector today by clicking the link below while the Christmas sale is going and use my discount code Luxaria for an extra 15% off. Thank you so much, Galaxy Lamps. Right, are you ready for a top comment on the last episode, my lovelies? And that is by Tososhin, and they say, if all the photos were bad, maybe the problem, Biscuit, is the photographer. And Yaya was right to ask him to slow down to let her pose. And Jay said that was her having an attitude. It seems her attitude was right all along. Could not agree more, Tososhin, could not agree more. There is something about some of the photographers they bring onto America's Next Top Model that seems a little bit like they're gunning for the models to fail. But I know, as a photographer, if I was in this situation, I would make it my job to be like, it doesn't matter if we're like 20 seconds over the limit. Like, if you need to get that great shot for this insane campaign, girls, we can spend the extra 20 seconds. You know, like, it's not the end of the world. So make sure you're sitting down lovely. Are you sitting down lovely, Mr. Biscuit? Would you like me to pop your headphones on? Your ohanger. Grab yourself a beverage. Pop your ohanger right into your little scandal hole. And let's watch. Oh, where is she? <gasps> there she is. America's Next top scandal girls, Mr. Biscuit. Oh, that's right. We have a top three, don't we? Who is it? It's Yaya, Amanda, and Eva. <gasps> oh, Eva. Who will be America's Who next top be model? Of the girl. Oh, I've never been able to snap in tune before. 
and oh, she did go last episode, and this is her eulogy. Is it slightly different? Is it because it's... No? Is it? Am I just noticing things I've never seen before? Kelly Girl, Leah, Meg Magdalena, Jennifer, no. Eva Girl, who will be America's next top scandal girl. The scandal is in the pudding. T T. What's happening? I've got lots of energy to say my lovelies with Tyra Hoon! Right, is this like the war drums? Because of war. Oh, sorry girls, I'm gonna say it again. She needs a toner. The toner's run out, sadly. Oh. Very difficult to style extensions like that. It was 14 and then there were three. Oh my God, it's only a couple of eliminations left and Ooh. then someone's gonna be America's Next Top Model. So I we'll... actually really like Eva's like single dungaree vest here. I feel like that would work quite well on my Chanel, wouldn't it? This is completely off topic, but my style is kind of stuck at the moment. I'm like glamorous red carpet lady, but also tech wear street person. <laughs> Someone's gonna be America's Next Top Model, oh, for yes. real, for real. It could be me, it could be Amanda, it could be Yaya. There's a third of a chance at this point. Oh yes. That I could To win a DFS say, sale like... sofa. <laughs> After and the, the cover of American days, Pets at Home like magazine. And, Yaya, and then walked right by. Oh yes, the team. The way out. She wrote a note being like, I don't think we should ever be friends. Awful woman. For her not even to say goodbye, that was just, it was crushing. Oh no. Eva had been treating Anne like poo for like a really long time and Eva was just like me, 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 me. I mean, there are always consequences and repercussions for the things you do. When I met you, I totally thought you were a different person. I don't know if I like what I see now. After the whole thing went down with Anne, I understand the part that I played. I take this as a huge life learning experience. Being offensive and being defensive is not showing strength. I mean, T. I'm trying and I'm trying to be this better person, but no one's even seeing it. It's so easy is, to just put a label on somebody and she's that. I do agree, you know, I think throughout this show, I've very much come to realize that like when I was 21, I thought I knew it all girls. I thought I was a fully developed adult human being. Delusion. Turns out not quite correct. So when we do look at how these girls are behaving in a high pressure environment in a different country, some of them have never even left the country before. They're obviously being judged at every turn. They're obviously being subject to like producer nonsense at the same time. Like, of course, tempers are gonna flare. People are gonna have parts of their personality that they don't particularly like very much on display. That's reality TV. That's how it gets its hooks into you girls. and makes us go, what's gonna happen next? So I do like to kind of try and give reaction and commentary with a little bit of a pinch of salt because it is TV at the end of the day. And I feel like in TV land, you don't behave as you would in real life. Are you having fun with your shirt, Mr. Biscuit? I can't imagine being on TV at like 2021 on such a show like this as well, like one of the biggest shows in the world at the time. That must have been a pressure in itself. If there were anything that Amanda and I could do to make Eva feel more included or comfortable, I don't think we would. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful moment now. I think we'd purposefully exclude her. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. She's got some venom. She's got a forked tongue between her teeth there, hasn't she? Oh, what's gonna happen next, girls? Oh, the fiery explosion of the conclusion of America's Next Top Model continues now. Oh, thank God. Actresses have recently been gracing the covers of all the top magazines. Yes. But it's time for them to step aside and make room for a real cover girl. You ready to leave at 8.15? Is it a cover girl shoot? I'm ready. Okay. Oh, Ooh, a sensible court heel. Three of us, like a pyramid. The number three is always hard for three people. I don't feel like exuding any extra energy to make Eva feel included. All my energy right now really needs to be focused on why I'm here. I mean, I like back in the day that would have been like, oh my God, yeah, yeah, what a bitch. But also quite true in a competitive environment when you're right at the very, very, very biscuit fluff everywhere. When you're right at the very, very, very last hurdle, you kind of do want to laser focus on what you want, don't you? Like, if you think of it as like a job interview, you're not gonna be like, no, oh, yes, I do like this other candidate because I'm not as much of a fan of 
uh, not starving to death as they are. So I can sort of understand and extend the olive branch of like, of course, some level of, for lack of a better word, bitchiness is gonna come out at the final hurdle because it's so, it's so intense, the pressure. You wanna win, don't you want it? It's gonna, it's all about me. Class judging, Tyra says, there are four beautiful girls standing in front of me. But the judges can find not one of you that they think could be America's next top model. But that could be drama. I think it's a good visioning. thing because it just doesn't give us any sense of identity or where we stand in this competition. None of us are strong in every aspect rather than just look like a model in my pictures and I so every aspect. I don't know why they even gave Amanda hair extensions because her length of hair is like lovely. You can do so much more with this from like a fashion aspect. She could have like a choppy, laser sharp bob or a f ass bob as the children are calling it. And that would have been much more like on trend back in the day, but I don't know, this was like 2004. So I guess like Paris Hilton and her long hair extensions were like the thing, weren't they? They always do this every season. They're like, we're gonna give you platinum yellow hair <laughs> and lots of extensions, even though does it really work for you? The jury is out, girls. Why don't you try on that lovely wig? Rather than just look like a model in my pictures, and I need to be striking in person. And you are. Hi. I don't think a person on earth would say that this girl does not look striking. Hi. And then there were three. Oh, look, there she is. Well, today really with her is big the day. daddy milkers. It's the cover girl photo shoot for Wet Slicks Crystals. This is a brand new moisturizing lip gloss that comes out this Christmas. Oh! So the winner of America's Next Top Model will win one single lip gloss that, that we will have today to pay for later. In a national magazine and will kick off her CoverGirl contract. It's such an important shoot because it's one of our very last chances to show up the other two. We've got this water pool here with these Zen Rocks. Oh, Zen Rocks, yes, very calming. Lip is the hero today. I'm gonna do my best no matter what. Oh, you she's know, excited. Hopefully my best will be good enough. Okay, girl has a smile to her lip stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know, I love it. Yeah. This is the lip gloss with lasting crystal shine. It's not sticky and it acts more like a bomb on your lips. Mm. I love that. Oh, yeah. I, I love that. Just, uh, did we ask you? Nope, you've just decided to put that over there because this is what? A covert advertisement, of course. Although, don't they later on win like, no, is it a year's supply of CoverGirl makeup? No, they win like a CoverGirl spot, don't they? In later episodes, later seasons. So I am confusion. Lasting crystal shine. It's it gives you lasting personal shine. And I'm just having a regular conversation at the local coffee shop. Show myself. It's got the crystal, the crystal finish in it. When you, a little girl thinking about like wanting to model, you say, oh, I want to do that someday, but to be on the precipice of I like doing it hair. is just... It's a little bit, see you in court, but I love it. Liu. 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 I mean, it's a... Liu. R-Y-U is how it's Liu. But I want you on the front most part of the rock, like closest to the water okay. edge as possible. Okay. Now, Amanda, smile. But okay. it's that energy, that brightness, that approachable energy, that's what we need. Even that smile you're giving me right now with those Are eyes. Are they gonna make them lay on the floor to be like, oh, we couldn't see your neck. What you have to do when you're laying flat is still give neck. Why can't we see your neck whilst you're laying flat? I wonder if that's gonna be a critique we hear. I will have immediately forgotten, however, by the time that judging hits on this episode, so. Feel free to ignore that. Should we just ask her how old she is? Even that smile you're giving me right now with those eyes. Okay, let's shoot it. That's a nice digital hassle, Glad. I was really trying to utilize my inner joy. You know, my yeah, really Cover Girl is like a happy brand. Personality isn't it? Not edgy. and my appreciation for Virtual. bunny rabbits in France. Sorry. My personality and my appreciation for bunny rabbits in France. She's got camera ready. Why did they play the gong? Like that was the most tea spilt on the day. <laughs> she's got camera ready smile. Oh my gosh, she's cover girl. I was serving up cover a girl. Hot Put potato. that face in Whoa. your. Amanda, out of forty frames, you're giving me like thirty six perfect ones. Amanda just gets it. She feels it inside Ooh. of herself, and she just exudes the look that you ask her for. Great. Hey, that's that's okay, it. which is different to what he said previously, which was like, you're doing terribly, we can't do any of all that, no. Put you in my oven! I'm so excited to just make it this far. 
I am about to be a star. Be careful. Ooh. And you're gonna have to try and bring your other arm and your face closer I to the edge. I like this concept as a photo shoot. The idea of like rippling water to symbolize gloss and crystals. Like if they could catch the light on their face. That's quite a cool concept for a photo shoot. I don't hate this as much as the last one, which I was like, what is this advertising? Make it look like you're moving, but we're gonna blur this background, even though we've brought you to this specific background so that the background looks great, but then blurring it in photos so that you can't actually see it. Like, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? No. Exactly. Oh, it's time to go. That's back. pretty. Knowing that it's only three of us, I have no room for mess ups. Cool. I can't twitch wrong, look wrong. Nothing could be messed up right now. I've just realized we're only eight minutes into this episode and they've already been like, right, the photo shoot girls, we're at the photo shoot. There's not been like loads of backstage tea drama building up to this and then the last 30 seconds of the episode is a photo shoot in which they're judged from. So I wonder what's gonna happen in the rest of the episode. Do you think they'll take us to- The bins. Pretty. Remember, I want to keep this friendly and happy. Well, they are going to comment and on their necks, though, aren't they? And it's about an inner smile. Chin up a bit. Yeah. I caught a little glimpse. Eva had a really pretty face, but I didn't feel the the energy coming out. Yes, I like that. I like that. When I think of when I met Eva. What an interesting <laughs> style choice. Like, why, like why are they like, oh, put her in a flare boot cut denim wash jean to lay about a pond for the evening? <laughs> Sure. I think of when I met Eva at the casting, there was this tough girl who came out to serve and be strong. And I think slowly through this competition, she's let that wall come down. I mean, yeah, that's she, it. or is she just been, like Eva's been getting some critiques throughout this entire season that like she's too strong, too harsh, too strong, too harsh. I don't think she's really changed that much. I feel like they're giving her a storyline here because she seems like she's strong, but also quite, what's the word? Maybe a little bit sensitive still, which is fine. Like people can be strong and sensitive. You'll quite often find the strongest people in your lives are usually the ones that have the most emotional range, shall we say. She's got a B-Tech. Okay, my darling, final word slick of the day. Every time I get my hair and makeup done, they talk about this elegant thing, this regal thing. So I was trying to pull from all these different places. Like, how can I be that? Ta-da! Kind of person. <laughs> Lower Titty is a little better, Yaya, yeah, yeah, if you want to position yourself because then I get more water. Young and relatable on the walls. Oh my God, I smile with your juicy glass crystal. Thing to connect with, you know, I'm reciting poetry or I'm seeing little ways in which my education's keeping me positive through this experience. I wonder what question led up to her answering like that. Out of the blue, she'd just be like, sometimes I think of poetry and my education that helps me through the photo shoot. What question did the storyline producer who was interviewing her ask her, do you reckon? Do you reckon it was something like, and how do you feel about being the cleverest lady in the competition? And then she feels the need to respond like that so that they can edit it and make it seem like, she's a pompous woman who always thinks of poetry whilst modeling the crystal lip gloss. Sometimes I feel like the storylines are really easy to see through and sometimes they're really difficult. Through this experience, keep your energy up, yeah, yeah. Remember, think approachable and friendly. Nice. Pretty, oh, pretty. In Yaya's case, Matthew did a beautiful job on her makeup today. She looks fresh, natural, and beautiful without even retouching. Oh. Last That's frame, nice. that was it. You did so great. Was that like a kind of a read about her texture that she's had a problem I with? Think any of the three girls in the left. cage. Amanda, get in the cage and think about what you've done. I think any of the three girls left had it in them. But today, the girls just all stepped up to the plate. I think it's the fact that they're realizing that they are shooting a real ad if they win America's Next Time Model. Oh, so this is it. Pretend, pretend the lady. Thing. So I have a to busy photo metro shoot. System. Our challenge is to do and go see for Noriko Fukushima. Right. Since you've been here in Tokyo, you've learned all about traditional fashion and street style fashion. Oh, that's, so that's Jay and I are here with Noriko oh, to teach you about current ready to wear fashion. Ooh. Noriko is a major fashion designer in Tokyo. Yes. Ooh. And Noriko has been a fixture on the fashion scene for the past 20 years. So she knows what she's doing. Hi, I'm excited. very excited. To see I'm excited this. to put some clothes on and just see something different. Ooh. Pantaloons. I'm 5'7. But I don't have to be tall to be great. Oh, I like so that no little peekaboo. Peekaboo. Peek down. Oh, polka dots. 
shiny. Oh, I like that. I could wear that. Yeah, the skirt looks great on you. The skirt was kind of see-through, and I didn't want to be disrespectful, but if that idea had been done in the States, it could look very hoochie. Tea. This is oh, her look, wedding. A regal a woman has modern. arrived. This is beautiful. It's a showstopper. It's gorgeous. It wasn't my cup of tea. I felt kind of out of place in it. So now you've been everywhere from the streets to traditional to high fashion. Uh, oh, I see. Wait. Uh, These are three very. Hang on. These are three very, very, very different outfits for what's considered ready to wear. Just my opinion. Fireman! Tomorrow, you meet with the judges. Only two of you will continue in hopes of becoming America's next top model. Wait! What? Top three? Who? What? Are we having an eviction it already? Oh, I don't understand the layout of this episode. Is it actually the finale? Bimbo! Because we shouldn't have an eviction 11 minutes in, should we? Eviction? Elimination. Oh, I'm so confused. Old! Oh. hasn't sunk in yet that I am... Final three, America's Next Top Model. Yes. This is crazy. Two thousand. I cannot believe that I'm still here. Four. That I'm still part of this competition is so unreal to me. Six, I'm definitely coming into panel with anxiety. It's like always so intense, and it's just gonna get even more intense. Gotta get through this. Gotta get going to. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. What a gorgeous bijou look. Gorgeous, bijou, gorgeous and bijou. Oh, I love an ultra over the top, ridiculous, dark, smoky eye. Yes! And that's not what Welcome she's wearing to today. The judging room. Tonight is a very special elimination. Right. Only two of you because will be we're left going standing. To execute and the two all. of you will be competing in a fashion show ah. for the designer Noriko Fukushima. Oh, yes, okay. The performance in that fashion show will help determine who will become America's, America's next, top, next top model. Of course, you all know what our amazing prizes are, but let me refresh your memories. DFS A sofa. contract with the top international modeling agency, Ford Models. Primark. A spread in Elle magazine, which will be shot by world-renowned photographer, Gilles Ben Simon. Oh, and a $100,000 contract with, with CoverGirl DFS. Cosmetics. Oh. And of course, we have our judges. It's so weird to be so early in the episode, and here we are, all the judges. Gosh, they're really packing them in behind that desk, aren't they? You have all come to know, love, hate. First, we have Janice Dickinson, yes, one of the world's first supermodels ever in existence. <gasps> we one of the world's first supermodels ever in existence. Not the first. Her title changes frequently. We have Nigel Barker, noted Nigel Biscuit. Nole Marin, a prominent fashion editor and stylist. Yeah. And of course, Noriko Fukushima. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. And Mao, who will translate for her. Oh. You all shot a cover girl ad. The winner of America's Next Top Model's photo oh, I like that will actually style. be a real so ad hot. in magazines. I missed that. Which will so be the, the photo will actually be used. Cover girl contract. Oh, so Amanda, Japanda, here is your best shot. I'm sorry. What did Janice just say? Japanda, here is your best shot. Insensitive, perhaps. Here is your best shot. Oh. It's cute. It is cute. It's amazing. It's lovely. It's scrumptious. It's absolutely beautiful. Scrumptedly umptious girl. Connected with the audience. Make them want to wear cover girl. I'm going to cry so much. Cry. Crying is good. Your hair and your skin tone and your eyes are something Japanese people would admire a lot. Wow. Amanda, what designer do you think would let you walk in the I do want to just look at that photo again. Did the photographer... I don't know if we saw the photographer shoot from up and down, because this is like an up-down angle. We just kind of saw them like this level. I guess maybe we don't see everything, do we? But they have really put this through the retouching machine because that water on that shoot was nowhere near this tropical looking, was it? No. If you retouch something to such extreme measures, what's the point of even doing the photo in the first place? Thoughts with Luxaria. <laughs> B-Tech. Amanda, what designer do you think would let you walk in the runway with your glasses? <laughs> your greatest asset is your eyes. It's just not realistic for a go see and for a real fashion show. Alrighty, Amanda, oh. thanks. Up next is... I don't know how I feel about that. This was a long time ago in terms of like ableism, 
conversations is telling someone who's legally blind that they shouldn't wear their glasses like acceptable or oh, that leaves a bad i don't regardless of the answer i feel like that kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth no nah, 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 nah. hey, amanda thanks up next is yaya oh uh, doing a great job oh my god that doesn't look like me <laughs> t t t t because it probably doesn't because they do so much retouching well, it does look like you. Look, it's, it's what I've seen out of you recently, and it's lovely to see it caught on film. I think your bone structure looks really, Snapped really beautiful. Tight. And you do look really sweet. Do you look approachable? And that's what we want to see. Earlier, Jay was like, Oh, she's got such great makeup without even any retouching. A little, little. Look at this. This is the most retouched photo I've ever seen. Even her teeth blur into one. You do look really sweet. Oh. Do you look approachable? And that's what we want to see. I was trying not to concentrate too much, but at the same time, you know, thinking about... You yes, know, relatable thoughts, We're thinking yes. about that contract. <laughs> Enough to put a smile on most people's faces. That's it. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Next is Eva. Goodness oh. me, you're making our jobs difficult. Can we have three winners tonight, Tyra? I would love to. I was the one thinking about that. I wonder if the reason why there's absolutely no shenanigans with this photo shoot is because one of them has to be in actual magazines. So they can't be like, we picked the worst photo for you for your storyline. And it's also going to be around the world. Like, no, they've they've had to hit a brief from an outside like party. Covergirl being like the outside of America's Next Top Model. Like, I don't know. Uh, what can you call it? Solar system. That's so stupid. She time travels and she's a medium. That they actually have to choose all good photos and make it very difficult so that any of them that they choose, for whichever reason, will always be a beautiful advert. I wonder if, I wonder if. Because if it was any other episode, like ages ago with the Levi's advert, the jeans advert, they were like, Oh, we your skin, yeah, yeah, we had to redo so much retouching. Oh, it was awful. Oh, wasn't it awful? But they've given the storyline, even though they've had to retouch all of their skin, that like, Oh, you're just all really good. We love you all. Really good. While shooting. And that's what kept me motivated. Okay. Kept me smiling, because that's what I want to see when I open up a magazine. Glossy shoulder. I think your skin is, like, amazing on this picture. It's like... So even and so smooth. Skin like honey. It really looks like the smile comes from within, and oh. looking at this picture makes me feel happier. All right, Eva, thanks. That's, I guess that's what you want a lip gloss advert to be, don't you? Like, smiley, happy, relatable. Well, before it's I... almost see... in the same zeitgeist or spiritual universe as salad adverts. <laughs> you know how they're always like, ah, my salad, ah. You know? <laughs> Oh, deranged. You away. I just want to applaud all three of you. Y'all are the three shortest girls in this yeah, I said that. I said that. Now, there are people in the fashion world that might be gagging, going, oh, this is blasphemous. And I think you all are giving girls hope that they're like, I ain't 5'9", but it just may be OK yes. last week. When I said we didn't think that you guys were really ready, those pictures proved us very wrong. They show the tape. guys. Sayonara. I thought she was going to say cyanide for some reason. Now it's time to decide. It would be very generous. Which one of cyanide. these three girls should right. go home? Right. Be quiet. Amanda. Oh, God. Amanda wa ano sakyo do hanashita yo ni ano. Her skin is extremely translucent and her hair is beautiful. The ice queen has completely melted away, and a beautiful woman came out. This photo of her is absolutely beautiful. Amanda still needs to work in person to look like this. When I'm looking at her, I, she's off on one leg and she seems like her body is slightly off at an angle all the time. Amanda in this photograph nails it. Hands down, bar none. Eva. She is this little tomboy. She's not the girl that you necessarily think is going to pull out a picture like this. This is a great, beautiful, warm picture. This is the girl that every girl in America wants to know and wants to be. She's universal. Eva has come light years, she's leapt, and she's learned. But I still want to see chic, and I don't get any, I don't get the essence of chic about her. Yaya. She's absolutely beautiful. Yaya has incredible bone structure. Yaya is really one of the most beautiful girls I think we've had. She's I agree. stunning. And when she stands in front of you, she's elegant, she's regal. But those things are also her down point sometimes. She definitely has that slightly arrogant, sort of snobbish thing about her. That's your opinion. Well, it is my opinion. Isn't that what this is about? <laughs> I 
mean, so far, the, oh, this shot, this shot tells a thousand words, doesn't it? I I'm having a bit of a weird experience with this judging because it doesn't really feel like they're saying anything bad. It's almost like they're trying to give everyone great critiques and then also a little bit of something where they're like, well, perhaps, you know, oop. Is this because this is technically like a paid campaign shoot? I wonder. Because usually they'd be like, oh, you're all terrible. Look at the state of that earth, oh, scum. DFS. So that deters the way she walks, the way she looks, it, uh, that she has an air about her. Photographically, it's an hard air. to criticize it. She's had moment. consistent, Emoji. beautiful pictures, as has Amanda. As have all three girls, I think, but... This um, picture crosses all borders. Yeah, I think Yaya's got the kind of a girl nice look. Thing. This is like the hardest judging that I've ever... It's so hard. All these girls can do pretty well photographically, so it's a difficult one for me to, to, to decide on. I bet they took all these three photos, made it all brilliant, and then CoverGirl picked it, and that's who they're gonna choose now, because it's almost like presenting the best option to the business, and the business gets to choose, and that's why they're all good. Ah, she's got a degree. I'm shaking, you guys. Shaking, shaking in her purple eyeshadow. Oh, that would have been a pharmaceutical advert. <laughs> I have three lovely ladies. Lovely women. Why don't have you try on this lovely wig? Photos in my hands. These two photos represent the two finalists. <gasps> These two finalists will compete in a Noriko Fukushima fashion show oh. and will walk and sashay oh to the death oh God. to see who can be America's next top the fashion industry. First was quite different, it would seem. Come on, girls. <gasps> Gagged at the pageant. The pageant has been yeah, gagged. You walked in here a beautiful girl with great stature, but a little bit too much stature because you were the dancer. But these judges honed God. that in. They can't yeah. just give her a moment, can they? They're like, you were great, we loved you, but you are also the worst thing we've ever seen. Like, she's just one, let her have a moment. God's sake. You're a mom. Yeah, yeah, you are a finalist. But you're also there is a terrible. There's a 50 chance that you will be America's next top model. America's next top wig. Congratulations. Here we go, girl. Will Eva and Amanda please stop? Eva, go! I only have one photo in my hands. No. Oh. And this one photo represents the girl that will continue on in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Yes. I will only call one name. Right. The girl that I do not call must immediately return to your Japanese homestay. Pack your home belongings. Stay. Right, okay, come on. You two are a very interesting <laughs> duo here. Yes, yes. <laughs> you guys both have what the other needs. Amanda, you have edgy, fierce, high fashion, amazingness. And Eva, Eva you've got Eva. a cock. Approachable, relatable, but to be a top model, you have to have both. No, stop so it, this isn't America's Next Top. are incomplete packages. There is one of you that the judges think in this short time might be able to pull it together. Eva. Oh! Eva goes. Oh, Amanda. Congratulations. Oh. You're a finalist. <gasps> oh. Oh. Thought you were going home tonight, didn't you? Oh, I feel a bit. Oh. Oh. Saved from this machine of nonsense. Love you. Oh, it was very day. respectful, though, wasn't she? Everything different. I'm pretty surprised. I thought I was going to be final two. I wanted to win so I could get the hundred thousand. Such a roller coaster. Wait, what? Buy a house. <laughs> At least Wait, I got to do my house. Get the hundred thousand dollar contract. And buy a house. <laughs> At least I got to do this. I want to inspire people that have. Disabilities or you already you know, did Amanda. So just, like, you blew them all out of the world. And to find joy in everything. 
I'll just down the road. See you all later. Into the sea. Right. Let's get well, down to business. Like or you are the one. Either the tomboy or the Afrocentric one is going to be America's Next Top Model. Yeah, yeah, and I are final two now. Never in a million years do we think that we will be the last two. Did you notice that we are each other's competition? It just blows me that it's so two black girls right here. We are each other's competition. What? <laughs> Eva and I, up until this point, haven't felt comfortable around each other. We no, just you have to be the best that connection. of friends. And so now, it's just her and me. Oh. We just let our guards down. Like, what made me different than the other girl sitting right next to me that is equally as beautiful and taller? <laughs> oh, dear, you know yes. Straight teeth and, and glow your Hello. skin. Hello, clear skin. That's the crunch bar, and yeah, she's cute, but what I'm learning about Yaya is that she has her defenses up, but that there's a sweet person underneath all okay. of that. Okay, all right, we're gonna have like a redemption time, friendship. I was unable to see that. There's I no bet. one else that walks into LA like, I got this. nobody walking oh, she like did. that. It's it just tea. makes me happy that the person that's gonna win is Thank going you. to be a black woman who has flaws whose head is on her shoulders and who is a positive person. Absolutely. So Very it's important. It's so refreshing to be able to finally see a little bit of her for who she is. Oh, is this and the I'm confessional like, I camera? I couldn't have been this way the whole time. Oh, here we go, girls. Are you ready? I wake up fashion in the morning, show. and it's time for our one Battle one of the chemicals. Before our final challenge. Hello. So have a seat, Miss Eva. Ooh. So how are you feeling right now? Never in a million years that I have imagined. I mean, modeling, becoming a supermodel is just, it's just, just a dream. Nothing that I ever thought was obtainable. And I, I always... do wonder how their careers progressed after this show. I mean, I will be doing a like, what happens afterwards? Where are they now? Kind of thing. So I'm very excited. Two people left and they're black. Get that, like, what? It's not about us thinking, oh, a black girl needs to win this right. year. It's just, Two best were black girls. I know you told me that you were kind of alienated, you know, from the other girls. How do you think it's going to be now that there's two? It's weird because Yaya and I have never taken it upon ourselves to there. get to know each other. But we went through this together, and we both know. And to be enemies here and now is so pointless. Yeah, they had a bit. Was there anything you want to ask me? Tiff, what do you? I was going to say a spaff. Absolutely not. That I have so much potential. A girl that is very troubled but is dealing with that and is trying to be better. Oh. So it's not about perfection, An overcoming but it's about story striving line. to improve The underdog. <sighs> Lots of cry. No, um, it is so amazing because if I look at my past, what I've gone through, to try to predict my future and say in five years, where would I be? I don't want it with somewhere to sleep or someone to hold me or someone to love me. And <laughs> I have admired so many people in my time. I could possibly be someone that everybody admires and what? You know, there's never a testimony without a test. <laughs> oh, God. Put that on a gravestone, girls. She's a friggin' genius. There you have it, right there. Golden essence of television. That is the reason why production of this show opted to cast girls who maybe come from a non-privileged background, 100%, for those golden moments of, I can show the world who I am, I've come from nothing, and I can get something. And absolutely, with the odds of capitalism stacked against every single one of us, it definitely feels like sometimes there just has to be an external force come into your life and change everything for you, because it feels like, no matter which way you're moving, there's just no progression happening because sometimes the pressure of capitalism can be so intense that you're unable to actually feel like you're being successful at something. That is why we have television like this. What an excellent advert that little section there was for anyone watching to want to be cast on the next season. Crazy. Gosh. And Tyra's an executive producer, so she would have fully planned that, sat down and been like, I'm gonna ask you these questions to get that response from you. Wild. Hello. Hi, Tyra. How are you? Hyperventilating. I oh, oh my gosh. I'm just coming back down from, re like, to reality. I wasn't expecting you to call me first or at all. I don't know. I was just, why were you questioning your belonging here? Because 
I'm usually very... That's a leading question, isn't it? Why would you question you belonging here? Like, that's gonna... That's leading into, well, I've had a difficult time at X, Y, and Z, and then I'm here to do A, B, and C. You know what I mean? And I don't like the word Afrocentric, but it's just very natural for me to want to express that. Absolutely! You know, and, to want and you to should never hide proud. who you I are. I never wanted to, you know, fill this mold that I felt that everyone else was filling. You know, yeah, I wear hair weave, but I'm still a black woman. And I'm still representing beauty to people that never really thought black women were beautiful. There's a way to make people look at Yaya and say, oh my gosh, yeah, it's a kente cloth and it's this and it's that, but I'm white from Alabama and I still mm -hmm. like her. Yeah. I'm not intimidated by her. Do you understand about, about still holding Gosh, on to it's who you wild, are? It's wild, isn't it? That, oh, it's absolutely wild that like fear of the different is so prevalent in the world. It almost feels sometimes like fear of the different is the default. Whereas it actually should be like leveled respect for the different. You know? Oh, I don't know how to explain my feelings about that, but it is kind of like, I experience it as a trans person, I experience like fear of the different, but actually if people, once people get to know me, once people watch my content, once people understand my personality and the way that I think, I feel like I'm quite relatable to a lot of people. But it's that instant like fear of the different that causes problems in the world really, isn't it? Ow! But being able to relate to a lot of different people. Mm. I feel like that cover girl shoot would definitely be able to relate to a lot Get ready backstage! A Mustang! Today's the day. Right. We're having a fashion show. A and fashion I can walk, show. So I so want to win this and I'm going to show it in oh, every yes, step of the way me. today. I've got all of I'm this. Kill it. Hi, uh, Eva, hey. how are you? Oh, hello. Hey. I'm yelling at you in my suit. I definitely have those butterflies in my stomach going on. I feel them. Ooh, I'm actually wearing a dress. I walked stage and got my diploma and I know I haven't won yet, but. <sighs> Almost. Jay is very The Matrix, isn't he? Every time he's like around, I just get like The Matrix vibes. It, but, but then again, even with the shoot with Anne in the last episode, he was like, why don't you channel The Matrix? Are you that sort? <laughs> so yeah, I know, right? Exciting. So this is not a show for you two. Yeah. It's a real fashion show for yeah. Enrico. This is not that we happen an event to be televising for, for the designer. The top two of America's Next Top Model. This is not about us. Well, it is. Ooh. Oh, look, at this thing. look, people are going to be sitting in the middle here. We've never thought pieces. about that kind of runway. We've oh, always this? been back and forth, you know, on this very yes. linear runway. Those. 45 degrees. Oh, it's a little bit welcome to the university lecture hall. A linear run. Look, with the outlets in the background and like the walls like that and the seats like that, it is a little bit university function hall. Those 45 degrees, like how do I know the step with this foot or the one over, or, you know, do I look here and then go? We're going for a very Japanese Zen style show. Therefore right. the walk what does that is mean? a very somber, very slow. What? Well, we've been taught here so far is how to be fierce and just give it and bring it. I'm definitely nervous. And you just follow the pattern of the runway. Seeing these other models, it was really comforting. I just felt like, oh, I can do this. Yeah, I belong. Act like you belong and no one will question. I actually prefer the phrase, act like you belong, over fake it till you make it, because fake it till you make it feels like you're, not, you're undeserving. But act like you belong is like, yeah, I've done this before. I know what the tea is. In fact, I've brewed the tea myself. Bottoms up and the double laps. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Do we know El yet the judges, front row? Oh, it's got a glamour. This is the end and this is the fashion show. And our job is to step up to the plate and it's just step act that like up. we do this all the time. This is More definitely like everything I've ever Oh, I love that makeup. Look at that. Gorgeous paper lashes, gold metallic shadow, and black smoky eye with a deep plum pink lip. Love it. Ever dreamt of from getting my Gorgeous. makeup done to getting my hair done. Oh my god. It's like graduation. <laughs> it is a bit like graduation. I got a university yeah, yeah. vibe from this. Eva. Eva. I'm definitely nervous because I know what all's writing on this. Oh look, don't and they look like, good? This is it. Oh, I love it when America's Next Top Model actually makes them look good. I feel like it doesn't happen very often, but I'm like, yes, when it does. 
they'll mess up. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. This is nostalgia yeah. factor for me. <laughs> like this kind of You guys are with role models today, so you have to step up. They've been doing this for a lot longer than you have. And they're probably looking at you like, <laughs> so you gotta serve it right back. <laughs> My heart was beating fast, so and I just had to like refocus and recenter, and this is just it. This is the week. Okay, this is Jay. What was that? Why was that a reversed shot? Look. They've reversed that shot. Did you see that? Watch. Why would you reverse that shot? Is it to make him look like panicked and looking for everyone? Like, we're gonna go, girls. We're gonna, gonna go, girls. What an odd editing choice. Okay, this is Jay. We are going to start the show now. That's funny, because why would you have a makeup artist, Jay Manuel, Tyra Banks' makeup artist, for a show of a Japanese fashion designer that we've been led to believe is a real show really happening? <laughs> Nonsense, girl! You would have, like, an in-house designer, coordinator sort of thing happening. Interesting. Oh! Leap out of the plane. Sending out the Tyco really drummers. To sell this Missy Elliott we show, are going they? to start the show now. Ooh. Just casually the looking at the judges. Competition. The final challenge in determining who wins. Very theatrical. The jumps just made my heart beat fast. It made me so much more nervous. Is that Kabuki Theater? Perhaps. Maybe not. Little sensible kitten heel. Yeah! Oh, this Walking is very. Out to the runway, soft, not being able to look at the people, but just feeling them watching me is exhilarating. So I like to walk strong and just Jeez. serve it, but this fashion show didn't allow me to do that. Backstage is crazy. Everyone's getting dressed. People are yelling and screaming. I need more Get girls. Naked. More girls. It's mad. More girls. Backstage. <laughs> I got my clothes on. It was my turn. Ooh, yeah, I need you know. now, right now. Switch back. Go. Attitude, attitude on the game. Attitude, attitude, fashion, fashion, wigs. Wigs. Uh, okay, I need you now, right now. Be quiet, Janice! The music is so intense for this. My rack and I'm my last outfit. Fashion, your last outfit, girls? This is my last opportunity to show them that I am worthy. This is good, blah, blah, blah. What's your first, 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 first? Okay, you two, yeah, yeah, now. Oh, they paid for a transition in Every Premiere Pro. What would it have been back then in like 2004? Sony Vegas? Coral Draw? Cyber DVD? Evo process in front of me. The rule is let the person who's entering go first. I was waiting for her to go, 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 go. I really had to slow down. There could have definitely been a huge crash collision there. That's one. Wasn't, wasn't there. The evening was saved. Is this cool? Oh no, is this copyright music? Oh. Well done, ladies. Well done, ladies. Well done, designer. Throw all your shoes at the bin. The show is over, and it's our last challenge. I feel really good about my performance, so my Wait, chances are we gonna have a top reveal? Is this good. the final? She's a friggin' genius! I feel great. I feel like I was... We've got another episode after this. I don't understand. On point. I feel like I did a really good job. You guys walked the right pace. You guys were dead on. So now, the two of you guys are gonna go to judging. All right. From here. All right. right now. Oh, God, straight away. It's just from the fashion show straight to panel. Eva kind of collapsed into my bosom. She's oh, my competitor, go. but at that moment, I felt Find like, out. all right, here we go. You can have a kindred spirit in a competition, I think. Time to go to panel. And one girl is about to become America's Next Time Model. Who's it gonna be, girl? Oh, here she is. Oh, beautiful. Where are these Well, you guys, from? this is it. We've watched both of you transform from <laughs> little girl from New York, little girl from LA, 
into beautiful world-class models. But only one of you can be America's next top model. Ooh. The winner tonight is getting... Battle of the earrings. <laughs> the first DFS. is a big, fat contract with the top international modeling agency, Ford Models. Ford the winner will be Rodeo. shot by world-renowned photographer Jill Ben Simone in a photo spread for Elle magazine. Ellen. And last but not least, a one A lovely wig. <laughs> Modeled by Janice. <laughs> now, of course, our judges. Uh, she's got eight bumpets in. Bump it up. First supermodel. What is happening? Nigel there? Barker, a noted fashion photographer. Nole Marin, prominent fashion editor and stylist. And that's it tonight. As you guys can see, also, there. Also, it kind of looks like Nigel's wearing a wig with that bush behind him. And that there he is, a lovely wig. That's it tonight. Right. As you guys can see, there is Come on, no girl. guest judge. That's because we know you best. We, we know couldn't your afford it. And we know your weaknesses. Oh. So now it's time for your We're not going to hear what the designer And then after thought. that, the judges will deliberate no. and will determine which one of you will become America's next top model. Well, the way the light <gasps> is catching. Both of you yeah, walked in a gorgeous. very important fashion show for designer Noriko Fukushima. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a look at your footage. Yeah, yeah. When you walked out onto that runway, I was breathless. You looked beautiful. You were so technical. It was actually surprised. very impressive. But I felt that it lacked a little bit of the personality. Yeah, yeah, you fit right in. But the look on your face was that of zombie. It was glacial. I think you'll I get think it the next stunned. time you, you have a fashion show. My mama made a comment. She was like, look at her booty. Oh, <laughs> she's got a great body. <laughs> Eva, I really liked your walk. You had the zen. A little, little bit cake. of Eva sort of swagger. To it. One thing that I noticed that you do, especially on the profile, is you do this. Oh, I did think that a she was eager. a bit It was like propelling you forward. Yeah, yeah. You is were doing too food? much heel toe. You have to put that pressure more on the balls to make it a little bit more elegant. Balls. You've been here for 12 weeks and you've taken some beautiful pictures. Mm. Here's your first week. Oh, a review. Seems oh, like a yes, this is ago. when they went to Jamaica, wasn't it? I first noticed you, Yaya. You nailed this look, I think, better than any. Also, randomly, I was in New York the other day and we were on a train and it was like, next stop, Jamaica. And I was like, sorry, what? I didn't, I totally didn't clock in my head that like, there's just a, a train station called Jamaica. It's not called like Jamaica Station or Jamaica Road or anything, it's straight up Jamaica. I was like, I don't think we are. Give the girls. Eva, you've got it in the eyes, but everything else has collapsed. And I am wearing a bumpet. Common. You weren't super comfortable modeling yet. So you went to the comfy, just chilling out pose. That's like a pose that uh, we all do in the fifth to sixth grade. You know, hey. In the schoolyard. Hi. <laughs> They both are just incredible, incredible shots. I mean, I think you both stepped it up a notch here. Eva, this is when I really started taking notice of you as a beauty girl. Yaya, was, for me, it was obvious that you were beautiful straight away. In this picture, you nailed it. But they did critique her for her skin in that episode, if you remember. That was the one where they were like, this is great, but we're going to show you the unretouched one. Oh, I think even Janice was like, oh, and it's like, Right, okay, how awful. This was your alter ego week. Oh, this was a weird Eva, one, wasn't it? Gorgeous. They were like, yeah, yeah, a ghost. That knockout pill, Betty Grable, Rita Hayworth, just gorgeous. This is when the competition really got tough. Eva, you nailed this shot. Nigel was both. Like, yeah, yeah, the one shot when you're on the car is very couture, but I don't like the natural shot. It, it doesn't say enough. That's crazy. Yaya's picture came up, and I was like, what's my picture doing up there? Poor Eva, you were the one who was petrified of the spider, but in the passion of your eyes, I don't see it at all. Yaya, for me, it's the most unbelievable shot I've seen of you. I think it's the best shot you've taken so far. Gorgeous picture. I do think picture. the eyelashes swamp her eyes a I bit, did a little demo for you with this shoot. I was very impressed with Yaya because you were taking notes in your head when I was posing. Yeah. Eva, I must say that I like your body language in this shot. You took advantage of the fact that you're not this was for the particularly team tall and you angled your leg nicely. Oh. Eva Diva, this is Eva Diva extraordinary. They skipped over the last photo. Do you remember the last photo? It was the streetwear photo. They've skipped right over that. I wonder why. It's because they're terrible. Is it because Yaya 
had a photo they didn't like? There. Oh, you're slamming in this photograph. Or have I yeah, spoken yeah, too soon? There's no arrogance in this picture. It's just very approachable. Eva, you're so friendly. It's so warm that and inviting. That looks like such a cover I know girl cover girl's motto is like a good girl with a wink. Mm. And I think both of you have that. And I think both of you both would, of you would make wink. really great cover girls. Winning looks. Yeah. So now it is time to deliberate. <gasps> and when I call you back, I will announce who will become America's next top. America's next top week. It must be the final. Ow. Then what's the next episode? Eva has an unusual look that I see more of right now. Yaya has a very old fashioned look for me. And so it's not that I prefer one over the other. I'm sort of going back and forth. Interesting that Yaya doesn't have modeling experience, but very early on was moving kind of like a pro. Today, I almost Janice is going to fell the down blush. when I saw how incredible Eva looked. She looked like a superstar. I see a beautiful woman in Eva. I see, yes, she's she's grown incredibly, but I'm and more I'm hiding prone secrets to in my hair. Yaya's refinement. I watch both the girls. I'm sorry, I can't get over. What is this hair? Why did Jan? Why did? Why today? We've never done this before. Why did you pick today? <laughs> what even is going on? I can't even see the the like definition. Has she got her hair up in like a uh, like a bum pit, and then got like clip on falls maybe? I don't know. This is a lot. This is a lot of hair. This is a, this is a lot for daytime TV. Refinement. I watch both the girls painstakingly in the fashion show, and Yaya is the more versatile model. Even needs to understand who she is a little bit more as a model. I find her amusing, she makes me smile when she's in front of me, and it's not, not something that you can really learn that easily. You either have that or you don't. Well, they both have it. They both they have both it. They both have it, they're just different, different way. in what in you different prefer. Way. Yaya, her body is crazy, amazing. Bodies like this don't come around often. But Eva, she's like a Cinderella. She comes in like a little tough boy and she turned into this incredibly gorgeous, beautiful woman. Um, so one will be a celebrity and one will be a model. I say, yeah, yeah, but then I have another <laughs> side of me which says Eva. This is horrible. Who's gonna win, girls? Because it came out 20 years ago, I already know. <laughs> right, here we go. In a moment, I'm going to announce nice. America's Next Top Model. Yes. You guys have had quite a journey. So How it must feeling? be. China stays on my what feet. This episode then? There's a whole other episode after this. I'll cry because regardless if I win or lose, this feeling is so overwhelming. Great TV. I'm speechless. This decision was it very was hard good. tonight. It was so hard because you two are so different. Both of you have strengths and weaknesses. Yaya, yeah, yeah, you went from the girl that the judges were like, hmm, great pictures, but to someone that was likable, someone that was relatable, someone that finally came in the room and smiled, someone that kicked that chip up off of her shoulder. But we talked about that. And now you stand before me radiant oh. and a true Whoa. From the inside. Oh. Eva, that's when you actually quite into complimentary. The room, auditioning in Los Angeles, I saw a pretty girl, but a girl that was like, I'm a hate on you before you can hate on me. Mm, but we had our did. tops. And now a real model stands before me. Here we go. But I have to announce a winner. There can only be one. America's Next Top Model is... Ah, Eva goes! This is The music, nostalgia a million. Oh my god! Oh, oh they've teleported. Model, you are a model. You know, in comparison she wins a DFS to sofa, a lovely portrait. I definitely felt like I deserve to be recognized, oh. and I will. But they wanted something a little bit more bubbly, and they found it. That was a very gracious oh, exit speech. She also goes on to have a brilliant career, so that's good. Oh my god! Oh. I am a cover girl. <gasps> this little sound boy from LA that has never been beautiful. I was not the cute girl in school. I came in here the shortest the one that had the most insecurities inside of them. And I'm America's Next Top Model. And I get to represent all those little girls that feel the way I feel. 
Eva has vitality, she has sass and spunk that make her relatable to young girls everywhere. Eva is a true cover girl. Tyra Banks Aww. is just homie. Did they also avoid the last relatable photo again? To young girls everywhere. No, Eva they played it there, okay. Cover girl. Tyra Banks is just told me that I must be a star. America's next top model. Here comes Eva. Ah! Oh. I feel all funny. Wow. Another season finished, my lovelies. But I've got some thoughts. Well, my lovelies, I totally didn't realize we were watching the final. I don't understand. I don't like. I did this exact same thing happened in the last season when we watched the finale. I was like, is this the final? It's not the final. Is it the final? It's the final. I'm so confused at the pacing of this because there's another episode. I'm going to have to like preview it in a second just to make sure I'm not going like wildly bonkers. But my lovelies, I do want to say this episode was on the whole a lot more positive than last week's and the previous week's following in terms of the actual show. The reason why I say that is because every critique in this episode was a lot more like, they're great, they're beautiful, they've got everything we want. And then the only like negative critique was like, oh, but also the thing that makes them great is the thing that makes them just not as good as we think they could be. Do you know what I mean? With the cover girl photo shoot, each individual critique that the models got was positive, but then also negative at the same time. Like the way they said to Yaya, we love your poise, we love your elegance, but also it is a problem that you have that. It does feel a little bit like they're trying to find things to critique when there isn't really a lot to critique. Each photo turned out wonderful. Granted, they were exceptionally retouched, but I feel like that was kind of the norm back then. It was very like every magazine was so heavily retouched. I feel like now during the body positivity movement, we're actually seeing less Less over the top retouching, shall we say. Every photo you see on social media of people, of your icons, of your faves, every photo you see in a magazine, whether that's landscape, wildlife, or portraiture, fashion included, has gone through some amount of retouching. And not a single thing was mentioned about necks, which I thought they were gonna be like, oh, why is she like this? This isn't good, no. Nothing was mentioned about Yaya's skin texture. In fact, they went out of the way to say, <gasps> The way that Matthew Anderson did her makeup was flawless, even though we're going to also retouch her within an inch of her life so that she also has blurry teeth. But I think that was the industry back then. My goodness, I need to know what's on the next episode because I'm so confused. Hang on, give me a moment. Let me, let me inspect. The bins. I just sort of sped through the other episode and I still don't really know what it is. It looks like a sort of recap and also like what happened next. So I think we will watch a little bit of that perhaps in the future. If you'd like me to watch that episode, let me know in the comments box below because I'm very interested but my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls. Another one bites the dust. Another season has come to a close and I will be doing a what happened afterwards where what did they do? What did they get up to? Sometime soon. And then of course I will repost this in a year's time as a supercut. So I hope you all are very excited for that. And with that my loves, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes you can. We also have a bunch of brand new Patreons. I want to say a massive thank you for supporting the Chanel too. Christopher Axman, Wolfhouse, Sarah Via Day, Louise Doverholt, Ellis Syra, and Chad Dewey. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon my lovelies. And if you would love to support the Patreon, please check the link out in the description box below for all the different types of rewards you can get. And today's Instagram shout out goes to Norse Joker. Thank you so much for following me over on Instagram, my lovelies. If you want to be in with the chance of being featured in my next video's Instagram shout out, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It is xxluxaria and over there you can keep up with all my travel and fashion content. Yes. But once again, my loves, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Samoji, Ariadia X, Becky Johnson, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kai, ContraPoints, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Worsham, Eric Castillo, Finn Dunham, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larissa Says Relax, Leanne Jones, Les Banana, Min Min Tia, Mariah Sherman, Miss Kiss, Novembrix, Paola Rivera, Ryan Vita, Stefutech, The Chaos Collective, and Vicky Walsh. And again, a huge thank you to Galaxy Lamps for sponsoring today's video. Check the link out in the description box below and use code Luxaria for 15% off your order. And with that, my loves, I want to leave this video on the note of just because because you're in a competition and things are getting heated and spicy doesn't necessarily mean that you won't meet a kindred spirit in that situation. And with that, 
I'll see you in the next one. Oh God, what a lot that was.